Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Jumpers and Drawers. This is Pickles, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to handle a jumping spider. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing about handling that you need to know is that handling is not you grabbing the jumping spider. It's the jumping spider walking on you. You do not want to like pinch it in any way. You, For some larger ones you can pet them, but it's not a very good idea. Just let them walk around on your hand. And also, don't handle while you're walking, because if that happens and the jumping spider decides to take a leap into the unknown, then you're gonna step on it. So handle while you're staying still and preferably not too far over a surface. You generally want to keep them in your hand wrist area so you can easily control them, because they could accidentally get squished if they move into if they move up too far, because you don't really know where they are and it's hard to keep track of them. So if they do go up your arm too far, then you can just put your hand in front of them. And they'll either go backwards the other way, or they'll just climb onto your other hand. Sometimes when they get where they're really active, they'll just, especially when you first start handling them, they're going to be super active and they're gonna jump so just put your hand in front of them where they jump and then they'll jump onto your hand and then do that kind of like a treadmill for them and eventually eventually they'll get settled or get tired out or something another thing that makes jumpers enjoy handling is if you take them outside and put your hand in a sunny spot and let them bask they like how it warms their muscles so oftentimes in the wild, you'll see jumping spiders sitting on hot stones. <laughs> do not do this with the sling though, because slings are much more sensitive to it than adults. And it is okay to feed your jumping spider while handling. It'll preoccupy it, so it won't be jumping around as much. And it'll also be more comfortable with your hands. Your jumping spider is going to be aware of basically everything that's going on around it. It's gonna be aware of your face. It's gonna be aware that your hands are living things. And it's gonna be aware of anything that happens near it. Handling is, or it is a bit risky because jumpers are small and they can easily get squished or lost. So it's a good idea to, when you're doing it, take precautions and spend a lot of time doing it so that they get used to it and they're not gonna be as likely to bolt. So that's basically all there is to it about handling. Just basically just let your jumper crawl, walk all over you, and just keep it on your hand areas. Don't squish it, don't do anything like that. Should be fine. Your jumping spider will not bite you. They do not bite unless you try to squish it or like poke it, I don't know. But even then it's very unlikely to bite. It may poop on you. They don't have very good control of their bowels. They poop when they poop. They might poop in defense. If your jumping spider throws a defensive posture, which is basically when it sticks its two front air, front legs and spreads them out in like a Y shape if you were looking down on it, that means you need to stop whatever you're doing because it's scared and it's mad. So... Say goodbye to Pickles. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment. Or you could dislike it, but comment why you don't like it so that I can be better in the next video.